All right, Haley, so what we got today? Then we got some brownie mix and it says fudge mm -hmm. brownie mix. Okay, so let's see what we need. Let's see what we need to uh, to cook it. Let's flip it over. All right, so it looks like we got a preheated oven, 350 degrees, so we're using a glass pan here. Grease the bottom of the pan, all right? And then we're gonna stir our ingredients. So we've already got the oven preparing to preheat. Once it hits 350, we'll go ahead and put it in. All right, Haley, let's look at your, um, your apron there. It looks pretty neat. Let's see what we got here. As Haley gets to show off her, her apron, let's see. Let's see, hold it up. Ooh, the real boss. Okay, so you the boss? Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. So, all right, let's go ahead and get our materials together and we'll All right, see. Haley's already got her hands clean and we've got the first ingredients. Normally you would mix it straight into a, a separate bowl, but we're gonna use it straight in this pan, so we'll see how that goes. You ready, Miss Haley? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna get our eggs, our water, and our vegetable oil. We got our eggs. Let's go ahead and pour in your uh, vegetable oil. Um, it doesn't matter where you pour it. Yeah, we're gonna stir it all up. Go ahead and pour that in. Ooh, nice. Okay. Perfect. All right, now we gotta get our water. Let's go ahead and mix in your water there. Where's the water? In this cap? No, in your uh, glass, in your measuring cup. It looks. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and start stirring. Get your spoon here. Well, our dog, um, our dog, um, ate the other one, so we had to use these. Hmm. There you go. Stir it up pretty good. So we'll do one. Lift the water and stuff. Yep. Stir it up until it's all in there. There you go. You're doing a good job. Even the eggs. Yep. Even the eggs. Yeah. All right. So Haley, she, as she's stirring up, get to stick out my apron. Kansas City cheese here. It's pretty awesome. So she is. She. Anytime you want to cook anything, make sure you have adult supervision, and always, always always practice safety children adults all alike everybody practice perfect safety in the kitchen the kitchen is one of the most dangerous places in your house and you definitely want to take care everywhere you are checking on haley's checking on haley's progress here she's got a little more stirring to go before we go ahead and place in the oven so we're going to skip ahead a little bit before we put it in so Haley, we'll like you stir it up pretty well so the next thing we need to do we need to set our timer according to our size of our pan. So we'll set our timer on the microwave just so we won't overcook it. And then we'll check on it. Oven's preheated. So let's insert. All right, Miss Haley. Is it all the way Yep. In there? Let's go ahead and close the oven. And let's start our timer. So. All right, we'll be right back. I'm gonna lift this one. All right, we're down to the last minute, and we'll get ready to pull it out, and then we'll let it sit and cool. So, be right back. This was a very simple brownie mix, but Haley wanted to show it off her cooking skills, and I think it came out pretty well. Easy to follow instructions, and as you look at everything, you can definitely tell that the brownies look perfect to perfection. They were actually very, very good, and it's pretty cool. So check it out. A very simple recipe that you can try with your own children, or you know, make sure you have adults to help you out anywhere you go. We're gonna do the so, taste cool. taste test. Kind of broke apart as she was pulling it out. What do you think, Haley? It's good. All right. Well, that was our homemade, well, box made brownies made at home and all right until next time have a good one